What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, I wanted to do a breakdown of the Skimbo versus Problem game uh, from this past week at the club championship. This was the number one and number two, you know, best Madden players of all time. Uh, they had such a crazy chess match of a game and I feel like on the surface a lot of, you know, more casual viewers might not understand everything that was going on. So I really, really wanted to do like a breakdown. So I chopped the game up into a bunch of clips and just want to kind of just show you what makes great players great. Uh, you know, I'm not anywhere on the level of these guys, but I can help kind of diagnose and break it down for you guys and show you, you know, what makes these players so great. And, you know, if you can implement some of these things into your game, it can help you get better as well. So first problem has the ball first on offense. His offense is based around running the ball. He's been a runner you know, his entire Madden career, he's pretty much always been a run first guy. So, you know, I've talked about how good the stretch is this year and he builds his offense around the stretch. He runs it a lot, even in situations where you might consider it a passing down. He's going to keep running the ball here. He goes for a halfback dive up the middle and he just does that every once in a while, basically to keep you honest. He's going to keep you honest up the middle so that you can't just you know, sell out to stop stretch every down. So early on, he's in a fourth and one. Skimbo has, if Skimbo gets this stop right here, it, it could get ugly quick because of how good Skimbo's offense is. But problem sticks to the game plan. He goes back to the dive. He knows he needs one yard. He knows he, you know, he put money into his offensive line. He trusts that he could get that first down. So something you're going to notice problem do a lot is come out in his stretch, flip it to the left side. He's always going to run to the side with the three blockers he has two wide receivers and a tight end and of course anytime there's contact he's gonna use the truck animation here he actually goes and induce close one of the rare times that he passes and he actually makes a mistake here on third down you see he has the post wide open he checks it down to the drag and almost throws a pick there you can see skimbo frustrated because probably should have been an interception here you can see again on the replay post wide open for a touchdown usually a read that problem doesn't miss but you know he actually you know he got away with one there and was able to get three so now skimbo's first drive he's in his bunch offense and he pretty much runs halfback dig out you know a good 50 60 percent of the time maybe more uh this is a similar or really the same setup i broke down on the channel you know a week ago it's kind of the same setup that goes runs he'll max protect he'll have the the post route on the left he'll have a streak in the slot and he's going to have an in route coming over the middle. Now, see, watch right here what happens. He actually streaks the outside guy. Instead, he switches it up because he noticed that Problem was manning up the free safety uh, on his outside guy. So he's trying to switch it up because he knows, like, okay, if I send the outside guy on a, on a streak instead of an in route or, or a drag route, he's going to actually be open. He's pretty much ran his safety out of the play. So that was a smart adjustment by Skimbo there. Here... He goes to the draw on inches, and, you know, Skimbo is not a runner. He does not run a lot, but he runs just enough, just like I said with, with problem with the uh, halfback dive. Skimbo runs just enough to keep you honest. Here, he's going to send everybody on streaks again. He's trying to just clear out all the zones because he saw how problem was playing. He knew that he wanted to scramble here with Wentz. He knows problem wasn't putting a spy on the field because that would have just took another resource away from stopping this really complicated high-low read that he likes to do with the post and the in route over the middle. Here, throws it on third down. His guy drops the ball. So now it's fourth down. Skimbo could tie the game up but he's gonna go right back to the same play but this time he switches it up he puts the slot guy on the in route and the outside guy on the fade again you see he ran his safety out of the play because he noticed that he kept manning up the free safety watch it again watch how the free safety is gonna run with the b wide receiver he had been manning him up on b because b was the guy he typically had on the in route so he took him out of the play and as soon as problems user bails for the post he checks it down the middle and again here skimbo running the ball like i said just enough to make you respect it he's gonna run it maybe once every 10 plays just enough to make you respect it here he gets gutsy he knows that problem is likely to run commit this is just a free play for him if he doesn't score here he'll run it on the next down but he's he just banked on the fact that problem would uh would run commit there and he had two flats out there if he didn't like it he would have just threw the ball away so now you see here uh we're in the second half now and this is why skimbo went for it because he knows Problem's more of a methodical, you know, run the ball, play defense. He's already up 7-3. If he can go up 14-3, 
he pretty much is going to win the game because he's going to take his time, get seven, and that is going to be really hard for Problem to win at that point. But Problem putting some defense together here. Uh, he committed himself to using the post every play, which was really crucial because it's going to pay off later in the video, as you're going to see. But Problem was not going to give up the big play. If you want, if he was going to let Skimbo take the in route for four or five yards of play, and I tell you this a lot of times when I break, you know, plays down here, uh, Skimbo tries to switch it up briefly and problem should have got a pick there very frustrated that he didn't get the pick there and skimbo knows he made a bad read so skimbo wound up having to take uh his three there which you know left the door open for problem to get back in this game it's not what he wanted so again problem sticking with his stretch it, it's what got him here he's he's he knows he can run it he's running it to the short side of the field a lot because stretches to the short side of the field are very hard to stop the blocking is just very glitchy on it problem knows this and that's why he has no problem spamming this he keeps running it to the side of the field where he has three blockers you'll notice he pretty much always runs it to the short side of the field he uses a little bit of motion uh to make the blocking even a little bit more better and he's just you can see he's gonna do it every play here he go he switches it up to the pass really briefly goes for a playmaker i'm gonna show this a few times watch how he playmakers this he scrambles out the quarterback as soon as skimbo bites on his rollout he playmakers paul kraus up and he walks in for a touchdown very huge play by problem and he's amped up as he should be and this is when the tide turns remember how i said problem took away the deep post every play all game long he did not give up the deep post but watch what happens here he makes a slight move like he's going to go guard the deep post and he jumps back down on the in route skimbo immediately knows he messes up as soon as he throws the ball and this is the game changing play skimbo almost never gets stopped on offense but watch again problem makes a slight hesitation up like he's going to go get the post it's very very subtle you might have to rewind this a few times to really catch it it's a very subtle he dips back for a second and then jumps down with the in route out. Um, Skimbo knows immediately that he messes up. He messed up there, but Problem had been taking away the post all game long. He would stick with the underneath route, bail out, and cover the post. And as soon as he would bail out, Skimbo would just take the in route every time. Take his four to five yards. Take his four to five yards. So Problem, I I've told you guys this in other videos. What some of the best players do is they will take away something all game. They will give you. They'll. they'll they'll decide I'm going to give you this route I will give you this route for three quarters and I'm going to keep taking away this route but when it's really crunch time when it's the money drive I'm going to make you think I'm going to take away the same route that I took away all game but now I'm going to bite down this route and Skimbo took the bait Skimbo usually does not take the bait he is so you know just polished at this game you see here uh Skimbo threw a bad pass there but he went for the aggressive catch to I don't even think he, he thought he would catch that ball. He just went for the aggressive catch there just to keep Problem from intercepting it, but he luckily came down with the ball. So now we're in crunch time, and Skimble switches it up to corner strike. He had not run corner strike that much this game. He'd run dig half back out. He watched this play again. He noticed that Problem kept playing a hard flat on this side of the field. So again, in crunch time, just like Problem took away his route earlier, well, Skimbo took advantage of the fact that he knew that Problem kept playing a hard flat there all game long. So... Just when he needed a big play the most, he switched up and he knew the corner route would most likely be open because Problem had the hard flat there all game long. So now we have a minute left. Problem's going to run the ball even with a minute left because he knows he has three timeouts. He's sticking to his game plan. He only needs a field goal. He knows he can get off a couple, maybe three runs. At, you know before he has to use that first time out he can run himself maybe 10 to 20 yards down the field if if you know possible and then only pass when he has to and that's what he's going to do he's sticking to the run because it's what got him here uh he's not getting a lot of yards here skimbo is bottling it up but he still he knows he's composed he knows what he has to do most people would panic right now but he knows he just has to get to that marker to be able to be in field goal range he's going to run the ball if he plays try to rip one off if he doesn't get one uh, then he's then he's fine taking his timeouts there and you know, at that point just needing a couple passes. So here goes for the uh, man, what is that play called? I forgot it just that quick. One of the glitchiest runs in the game. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the halfback wham. And uh, it was actually great defense by Problem, but he got just enough yards there. And Pro, I mean, you could see Skimbo was just was furious, well, not furious, but disappointed because that that was a huge run there. That's the run that he needed. Still sticking to the run here. He sees uh, that there's nothing there, so he just, you know, heads for out of bounds. He breaks the tackle, luckily, uh, saves a timeout. So now he's in a situation where he has to pass. He can't run anymore now, uh, you know, not by design at least. So he's sending a few guys out on routes. 
and sure enough he sees that Skimbo doesn't have a spot on the field so he takes off with Mariota I think problem was expecting that that's why he only put a couple guys out on the field here he runs the same thing the next play virtually and now he's in field goal range and that's all he wrote he's gonna kick a field goal here and take it off so Skimbo not putting the spy out there you know is questionable but he was just trying to cover all the routes and, you know, that, that adjustment cost him the game ultimately. But really the biggest thing that cost him the game was getting baited into that interception by problem. So just, a, you know, a quick look inside some of the minds of these greatest players. I hope that I kind of helped you understand just a little bit of, you know, how these guys operate in the game. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more breakdowns like this, just drop it in the comments below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, just drop a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.